Hey, what up YouTube and welcome back to the long dark today. We finally set our sights on the furnace in Muskeg. We've got the scrap, we've got the coal and it's time to get going, but we still got a bit of a journey to get there and it doesn't always go according to plan. I hope you enjoy the episode. If you do, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And with the intro out of the way, let's get started. Where is he? There he is. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the long dark. Uh, today we're going to go to Spence's farm and do some smelting. But before we do, I wanted to try to get some stuff set up uh, to make sure that we're prepared once we have all the metal working done, essentially. Um, I was out here grabbing a couple sticks, uh, just trying to organize a little bit before I actually started the intro. And uh, I heard this rabbit puttering around so I figured we would um uh do the intro and uh murder him and kind of go from there I'm looking for that rock I just lost forgive me I got a bit of a head cold um it's been a little while in between recordings um personal life's been busy and then I got sick so fighting a cold but I'm feeling better finally just a little bit congested still so we'll try to uh, push through. All right, I can't find any more rocks. I don't see any other rabbits, so we just got this other one. Uh, I think we're going to head back inside, get a fire started, and uh, we'll get a fire started and get our teas warmed. We'll skin the rabbits, get everything kind of set up that way so we can get the hides curing. And I believe... Over here at Trappers, there is uh, some birch saplings up there. Might as well try to, uh, we might as well try to get them with the hacksaw while we're kind of getting everything going. So, organize a little bit off camera just to kind of keep things going and get things ready for uh, our day. And uh, how big is this rabbit? Another four pounder, hell yeah. So, that's going to do good. All right, let's um get this. Well, let's get this fire started, I guess. All right, we'll start this up. Uh, that doesn't work inside. I'm not gonna use the birch bark. Uh, we can probably start a torch. You know, that's probably the safest approach. All right, so let's add. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, it's probably gonna be a couple hours, or at least an hour, I guess. That we need we'll get two hours on this fire we'll get these all started here I'm gonna go ahead and immediately boil some water and let's boil some more oops perfect and let's check the teas here 30 minutes okay I'm gonna reset these that should do it and last one. All right, so those should all be good. They shouldn't. Uh, they shouldn't burn now. Um, that's gonna burn out. That's fine. Is there anything else I've overlooked? Okay, that drawer's empty. Uh, just doing a mo one more once over. I'm pretty sure I've already cleared this spot out, but you never know. Uh, and this is empty, so that doesn't matter. Sewing kit. I think I knew that was there, but. <clears throat> I forgot. All right, one more check on these co these teas and coffees before we go. Perfect. We got okay. We got like a half hour. What would we need to harvest the hide? Forty minutes. All right, let's do that. Maybe I should have done the meat first. I don't know if that impacts it. I bet you it does. 17% 17 of, 17 of the weight was lost. Alright, yeah, okay. So that's almost boiled, dry. Okay, good, 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 good. Just managing, perfect. We'll do another thing of water. And then we can skin this other one. I want to already drop this hide. So we can do that in here. I'll put it up here. Come on. There you go. Get this out of here. Yeah, cool. 
All right, we'll harvest this one too. Should be fine, right? 46 minutes until boiled, but yeah, we'll have more time. That's fine. Let's go ahead and harvest this one too. All right, perfect. And this is boiled. Oh, these are almost boiled. And 18 minutes left on the stove. So that took a lot of time. Let's use this here. We'll add it. And we'll add a couple more. Got another two hours. We might want to break one of these. Like, how much does this create? 15 minutes? Okay. Let's take that. And how's this? Yep, we'll take that too. We'll do another thing of water. Very good. Perfect. Let's break this down. I don't know how much this yields in time. But let's see. Okay. Gave us another half hour. So, I don't really want to leave the meat. But I need the guts. It's going to be 40 minutes too. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and drop this uh, hide real quick. And we'll do that. I do need the guts curing. And I got two hours on the fire. What about if we break this down? I'm basically adding 15 minutes for every crate that I break. Get me back to another 15 minutes. Oh no, got me back another 45 minutes. Okay, this will take 45 minutes. It might be worth it to take a minute and break this stuff down. Yeah, I could do it. We got time. Break that down. Oh, I lost well fed. I wasn't paying attention to the food. Oh, man. Oh, that's upsetting. Well, all right, we'll have to get it back. There's nothing we could do. Damn, bro. I got the food on me, too. And I'm just sitting here working. Let's eat the sardines. Damn, that's going to hurt a little bit on the carry weight. Should have been paying more attention. Man, I'm kicking myself. All right, let's go. Let's uh, stack up some more um, calories. I guess we might as well. Let's do that quick. I should have just done the whole thing. I think I, I think I have like one ounce left. can take this and then let's cook the rabbit and that should be fine all right we'll drop it and this should be boiled Perfect. We can eat that now. And we will take that and we'll cook off basically all the rabbit that we have. And how much time? We still got an hour and uh, 38 minutes. Let's harvest the guts here. I think weather permitting, we should be able to make it to Spence's farm in the dark. Ooh, cutting that close. Ah, we'll eat that too. Uh, do we need to cook anything else? Got 53 minutes on the fire. 
Do I have anything else to cook? Peach pie? <laughs> I know I went through this last time. What does this do, though? I don't remember. Let's uh cook another couple teas. Those should be fine. And I think if I harvest this, we're going to learn. I think if I harvest this, we should be fine. It shouldn't boil over. It should get close. But I don't know if it'll boil over. If it does, then that's how we learn, right? Okay, nope, it did not. Perfect. And this fire is three minutes left. Let's add a couple sticks. Twenty-five minutes. And let's drop off the rest of these guts. Yeah, we can leave these here to cure. Cool. And 16 calories, just eat it. <laughs> Why even bother holding on to it? Uh, let's go ahead and scrap this torch. So the other goal was to get the... The birch saplings. Now, the guess the question is whether or not I think... I should do that now. 23 minutes. Um... I could just add a coal... If I add a coal to the fire, it'll keep me going long enough to go get the saplings. I left the uh, hacks off. I don't think I'm going to cut them right now. I want to kind of check what the time frame is to do it. And I want to see if there's any other sticks to the north of us. Uh, just up here. I said the north, but I meant like of the building, I guess. Um, weather's not the greatest, so we may want to spend another day here at Trappers and just, like, read and, uh, and such. The only problem I have is, uh, I just heated up all those teas, and I really don't want to start another fire before we leave and head to, um, Spence's. So, something to consider... Hopefully the weather doesn't get too crazy. Is that moving down there? Can't tell. Can't tell if that's a rock or if it's a wolf like that is. And are there birch saplings up here? I guess not. I know there can be, but I guess not on this run. That's a shame. But that kind of saves us time then. I don't really need to grab these sticks then, do I? Just head out of here. It's not too cold, so we might as well, I guess, go to Spence's. We go inside, we warm up quick. We heat up, uh, we drink our teas, a couple teas, and we get out of here. I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything running on the stove. All right, heading back. Um, not too bad. Uh, in terms of in terms of stuff, I'm a little rusty. I can't believe I let well fed go. Um, pretty disappointed in myself with that. Uh, yeah, they're just rocks. Um, let's head inside. We'll uh drink. We'll hydrate up and um. Oh, did it burn out? No, it's still good. Bad. Oh, I saved it. And we still got five sticks left. I need to get some torches going, so we might as well do that and take the torches. Okay, that's a good one. That's another good one. And that's the last one. Pretty good. And maybe just do the rest of the sticks. I 
And these are all hot still. Yeah, I can't get another one. Okay. Pick that up. Pick that up. Take it, take it, take it. All right, very good. We can leave. Dang, we're overweight, man. We can leave this here. We gotta take all the scrap. This is gonna make us even more overweight. And this. And this. It's the worst time to lose well fed. Oh, we could open this. I have the, bar, the pry bar on me. Anything good? No, nothing. Okay. Yeah, we're heavy. We could actually leave the bedroll. No, I'm going to take it. God forbid I get stuck somewhere. I need to sleep in a cave uh, on the way there. We're good. I think we can leave the cooking um, skillet, though. Or should I leave the pot? I think we can leave the skillet. It's probably good to have something here anyways. Because... We'll leave a gallon of water too. Uh, because uh, I think there's only, there's only one burner at Spence's, so no reason to have both of them. Instead, we can um, warm up with a reishi, maybe two. Just to make sure we're not tanking any, any cold damage. And then start making our way over to Spence's. I've got torches, I've got flares, we have all the tools we need. Um, we can basically spend the night there, get the smelting done. I think we'll be all right. Let's eat quick, some ketchup chips, just get some calories in us and uh, we'll keep moving. And yeah, I mean, not quite the start I wanted. I was hoping to um, to have well fed still, but nonetheless, we weren't mauled by anything. Where we we're ready to go. We've got all the stuff. We didn't forget. Uh, make sure we didn't forget anything that we need. That's crucial. We got plenty of matches. I probably could have left a box. Um, we got good clothing. All the tools we need. I got plenty of torches to get us there. Uh, we've got the 13 scrap we need. We have the cloth we need. We go ahead. We make the knife. We make the hatchet. Um, knife hatchet and some arrowheads. And then we get out of it. We get out of there. I think that's the move. We'll grab some sticks along the way. Keep the fire going. I got plenty of coal. This will also just help in the event that we um we need to start a fire on the way there i don't want to be using the coal that i could be using to smelt so we have a little bit of uh of the ability we have a little bit of resources to start a fire should we need and we're just gonna basically walk along the edge here of um this area mystery lake the area by trappers and then head over to Expenses. I'll check along the way for the moose. I mean, we have to walk past it too, so we might as well check to see if the markings are there. Uh, would be pretty cool to have a moose on this side of, um, like to have one in Muskeg right here. And also we have one by the dam we've seen. So uh, it'd be good to have two easy moose to get to. All the professional long dark players go for the moose first. Um, well, that would be awesome. It's also a concern of mine because I've never hunted. So we are probably going to start off slow and uh, go for some deer first. Get some deer. We'll carve them up. You know, maybe we can get, get one right by the camp office. And uh, we'll do some hunting that way. Obviously, we have probably a couple days before that's going to happen anyways. Um, I still have no saplings which are going to need time to cure. And I uh, don't have any guts curing except for the two back at Trappers now. So 
We have some stuff we got to get out of the way too. Not the most efficient of not the most efficient of runs, but we're learning. We're definitely progressing faster and better than we have in previous runs, so we have that to look forward to. Uh, but it would, in hindsight, probably would have been pretty cool to have killed a couple rabbits at least. Um, had some feathers ready to go. I don't need that rock. I don't need two of these rocks. Just go. Yeah. Can I throw it without aiming? Yes, you can. Cool. All right. So those two are gone. And we can put that away. It's still pretty warm. We are freaking heavy, though. It's slow. So it would have been, uh, you know, there's not much we can do, but we'll keep just trudging along. Outside of the equipment that we need, we need to get the bow going. We'll get the hat. Basically, we'll get the hatchet going to cut down some saplings. Um, we'll get the saplings curing. Uh, after that part, we're going to need to go gather all the feathers we can find. We can use the knife to at least harvest maybe some of the deer carcasses in the area. Um, get like the deer skin even. Um, I know there's a travois. If we can look to get that crafted soon, that's going to help as well. Because then we can use it to haul the meat that we get. Also haul like, like we're heavy right now, but we could be carrying the travois and getting where we need to go. Um, there's a wolf. Let's, uh, let's get rid of him. Uh, like if we were pulling the Travois right now, we could do so. And, um, hold on. <laughs> if we're pulling the Travois, we would be able to, um, we would be light is what I'm trying to say. Um, because everything would be in the sled. We'd pull the sled with us and then get over to this new area. We'd have to pick it up to go through the, I believe so, to go through this transition here. But we'd just pick it up, transition, and then put it back down on the other side and pull it the spences. But we don't have it. So it is a goal to get. It's going to help us in the long run to, um, with all the hunting that we're going to need to be doing to start getting the clothing that we need. All right, we made it here pretty... Actually, I should... Oh, don't throw it. I wanted to put it out. Don't go under there. Give me that back. Dude, I suck today. Come on. Oh, forget it. It's lost. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. Well, I was going to put it out. It was a good torch, too. I was going to put it out, and uh, so we would have it on this part of the walk. I'm cold again, and these are probably all cold too. Yeah. All right. Uh, do we have enough daylight? If I wanted to start a fire here. Uh, no for the magnifying lens. Okay. It's not that cold. We could just probably tank it get over there it's gonna be dark as long as there's no aurora I pretty much know where we're going we're basically gonna come up this way and then go that way and we it leads us to Spence's and as long as it's clear enough uh, I know more or less uh, once I see like some of the landmarks we're good from there I can use those to get us around can we see from a distance here if the moose is over here uh, I can't really tell. I shouldn't have to walk too far in. We're just going to walk a little bit. See if the markings are on any of the trees. And then get out of here. Better yet, it'd be better if we just saw the moose. Uh, I'm not seeing the markings. Keep it, I'm looking around. Yeah, I don't see the markings. I don't think he's over here. I don't know which particular tree it is. I've only ever found the markings once, but now that I know how to recognize them, I'm not seeing any of them here. So it doesn't look like this is a spawn. That's fine. 
Let's get out of here. Uh, let's grab a couple of these. Uh, we can drop that. I think I had like 13. Alright, we're good. That should be fine. Just a couple. Make sure we uh, start topping off our food again. Oh, it's beautiful out. Can I get a good screenshot? Love it. So pretty. All right. So yeah, we're going to venture this way. Uh, there can be a couple wolves up here, so hopefully we don't see them. Uh, but I'm going to make my way around. Try to grab some sticks along the way. Uh, maybe stock up. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is, right in front of me. All right, cool. So we might stock up uh, the uh, Spence's farm as well. That didn't scare you? All right. And we're going to run into him again since he's going the same way we are. Uh, might try to stock up, like I said, some fuel, get some stuff going over there. Um, but the main focus is just get the crafting done and get out of there. It's warm enough to sleep. It'd kind of be nice to, to craft what we need. Like, um, if I had, like, the, the resources already to craft the bow. Come on, man. I'm wasting my time. Run that way. That'll do, I guess. Try to get this way. I'm trying to get some distance between me and this wolf. So we're not going to spend the rest of the evening um, scaring him off. But he keeps running the direction we want to go. Alright, what's over the crest here? Oh, of course. Oh. Good, get out of here. Yes, that's the direction to go. Go oh, that way, please. Oh, there's another one over there. Try to go this way. Um, what did I want to say? So, we're good on the torch. Essentially, I can head over here, and then we can walk on the outskirts over here. Hopefully, yeah, this ice is fine. We can walk on the outskirts over here. And make our way over to Spence's. There's like some burnt down or broken down buildings um, along the way. Uh, I know there's some stuff in like the crates over there. Or at least they were on lower difficulties. Why'd the music get all ominous? Um, but we're uh, checking for that wolf. We're going to head this way here. And Spence's is right like right along this edge here. It's actually pretty easy to get to. Um, I've always kind of gone from the train car and just headed south across like the marsh here. Um, but this is actually kind of easier when you skirt this this outside. Uh, oh, those are not crows around a body because I need those feathers if we could find them. Keep watch on this um, torch. I'm going to want to reset it soon. Now, for the bear in this region, he usually is up that way. Reset this. All right, he's usually up that way, north of the train car, and he goes around the other end. Um, I've only ever seen him really kind of go from, like, over here and around, and then I don't know where he goes after. Like, I don't know if he loops back this way. I've never... Not saying it's not possible, but I've never encountered him on this side of uh, of the map. So, oh no, that's not good. Ooh, okay, <laughs> I'm too heavy to run across. Uh, we're okay though, so we're going to walk and kind of skirt along the edge here. And basically just follow this the whole way. 
Um, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any wildlife, anything of, of interest. I think it's basically straight ahead that way is where we're headed to. Um, we are cold, but it's not too bad. I should have enough torches to get there, I think. Um, worst case scenario, I can light a fire and get some more going. I don't really want to. It's going to a waste of time. Um, but I need to make sure that we are fine with the wolves in the area. And I do not want to light a torch unless like the weather is terrible. Okay, we're coming over the, the hill here. Yeah, see, this is where it gets a little more um, risky, especially for how heavy I am. But I think we just cross here and there and just kind of skip over or hop over to these little um, islands and we're, we're fine. But I got no stamina. I'm tired. I should probably drink a coffee, even if it's cold. Just give me some energy. And how's this torch look? I got a few more minutes on this torch. And yeah, it's, at least it's not snowing, right? It's The weather's actually pretty nice. It's manageable. Now, I, want, I do want to check out the radio tower at some point. And I'd like to see all like the... I don't think I've searched every possible area on the inner part of the map, like the middle. Um, so I do want to check out that stuff. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can do that in this run. Uh, today, not so much. And, um, yeah, I see it off in the distance, Spences. So we're, we're getting there. Uh, it's time to reset this torch though. Let's, uh, get another light. I got three left and we're down to our, we got two after this one. I'm going to go ahead and eat real quick. Uh, let's eat this porridge. Watch this get me sick. 20%. I clicked it before I registered the percentage. Oh, okay. We rolled the dice on that one. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is where... Yeah. Just looking. We're going to have to just walk the edge here. There's no way about it. We can't cross the lake. And, uh... I'm too slow, man. We're so heavy. That well-fed really sucks. Um, it really sucks that we lost it, but... At least it's clear. Stars are out. And I'm excited. Uh, I've never smelted before. So, we're going to find out if 13, um, 13 coal is uh, enough. <laughs> I hope it is. It should be. I don't see why it wouldn't. Can't take that long, right? To smelt stuff. Um, a couple hours, maybe. Uh, but we'll find out. And if it's not, it's not. Uh, I'm going to go for the hatchet first, knife second, and then as many arrowheads as we can. If we run out of... Um, if we can't do as many arrowheads as I wanted, which I think right now my count is 10. Um, it's what it... You know, we're going to have to just work with it. Uh, if we... There should be some coal here, though. So if there is, then that's going to obviously benefit us as well. Here's where we got to figure out what to do. I think we can just hop across these islands. God, I'm so heavy. Pretty sure we can hop across the little waterway here and across. That's what I'm going to aim to do, even though I'm now walking into the wind. Um... We should be able to make it if I plan right. God, can we walk, please? It's so difficult walking in the wind. And, yeah. It is cool that the, the clouds do show you which, if it's clear enough, will show you which direction the wind is blowing. You know, it is kind of going that way. Um, and I'm walking into it, right? 
Uh, this torch ain't gonna last much longer. We'll go across here. I think I can cross this uh, tree. We're gonna try it. And it's gotten colder, which is not good. <sighs> and we just slowly make our way there. Outside of the smelting and getting the the um outside of smelting getting the new gear and then hunting uh let me know what you guys think we should start looking at for goals because i've never gotten past never gotten to this part so i've never smelted uh we might not even get past you know we might smelt and then turn around and not be able to to do anything uh, because we die shortly after. Can I make this? Scared? Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, but assuming that I get the smelting done. Assuming that we get the gear we need. Oh, no. Oh, there's a sapling. Can I make it to there? I don't think I can make it there. Can I make it there? Yes, I can. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I can't! You bitch. Okay. Hmm. That changes things. I can't believe I can't. I was right there. You can't make it. Fudge. All right. Oh, I'm awake now, I guess. I can run. <laughs> All right. We're cold. We're losing condition. I need to get in a cave or somewhere warm and get, get warm. I need to get the hell out of here, though. Unless I start a fire right here. Just start a fire. And nope. Uh, we need to... Can I take out a torch? Yep. Okay. Start a fire. We're going to start right here. Okay. Yep. Cattail. Go ahead. I should have used the accelerant. Come on, fire. And the wind's picking up. <laughs> you bitch. Yep, go ahead. Birch bark, screw it. Don't care. Get that started. Okay. Um, put this out. Great. I'm glad I'm fire starting whatever that was. Okay, we're going to use one coal. Just to get some heat. And we are going to... Put these down. We're going to drink. We're going to get warm. I need to get these clothes somewhat dry if I can. How bad are they? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, only my pants are cold. Can I dry these quick? Or is this doing worse? Can you drop them, please? Thank you. Okay, we're warmer there. Come on. They're 4%, so that's doable. 99% wet, not good. I'm gonna drink that. Okay, and we're gonna drink this. Perfect. I need to get these around. All right, we stopped the cold. Get this on the ground, please. They're wet, too. 99% wet. Not good. Fine. Okay. Don't walk on the fire. <laughs> Let's, um... Drop these T's. Not that. Drop these. 
All right, those are good. We'll add some more. Yeah, put it there. Go ahead. All right, we're fine. I'm going to drink this birch bark. We'll recover our condition. These are fine. These are wet. Not great. Uh, would be nice if I can get half of this dry. 41 degrees. Make sure everything else is fine. Okay, it's warming. And this is warming too. And is this warming also? Cool. Uh, we gotta put this down over here. And this one over, I'll drink this now. Let's just recover the condition. I could probably make some more, to be honest, while I'm sitting here. Got an hour left on this fire. We are going to try to just, um, we're going to just, oh, I got to make the, um, whatever the hell you call it. The birch bark, I got to prepare it. Uh, let's just check these other teas quick. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't reset these, so let's reset them. And this one. All right. Perfect. Fire's there. These are all drying. Okay. If I can get, like, the the boots, I would be putting them right here in real life. If I could uh, get them dry, that'd be great. And we're fine. I need to prepare some birch bark. And we'll do that real quick. And then check the fire. Weather's fine. Please hold out, weather. 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and cook another birch bark. These are almost dry. Come on. These are not almost dry. 51%. Wet's better than frozen. Everything's uh, warmed up right now. And we got to head back and around and all the way down to Spence's. We, gotta, we still got a trek ahead of us, boys. 35 minutes, four minutes there. That's 71% wet. This is not drying near at all. Dry, damn it. We're warm though. We staved off the uh, condition loss. Hunger, you might as well eat. 19%. Uh, let's go ahead and open that and eat it. Thirteen minutes to ready. Uh, we'll drink that too. Cool. This is all going. Twenty-eight minutes left. Let's add a couple more sticks. Uh, that ruined torch. Interesting that the torch gets ruined if it goes in the water. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to need to pull another torch out of here. We might have to sacrifice another coal. Unless there's some sticks. I can't run worth a crap. So I'm tired. wonder if I should sleep. Like make sure the fire's good and just sleep for an hour. Probably not a bad move. Is there any other sticks? No. If I sleep by a fire, then we can stay warm. But it gives me the energy. I need the energy to get over there. I'm too tired. Let's grab this uh, freaking torch here. Right. And let's walk across the ice and fall through again. And we're back to our fire. Are these dry yet? Oh, the socks are dry. Okay, we can eat this. I'm gonna stock the fire. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I 
I think we're gonna end up putting yeah we're gonna have to put a coal on it let's harvest this all right yeah let's take a couple torches and we're gonna just sleep an hour we can risk it for to save a couple to save a piece of coal or we can just add a piece of coal and take and uh, sleep and um, make sure that we're warm I'm only gonna sleep an hour assuming that I can freaking put my stuff down 5% wet 23% wet um, where is it it's in here bedroll Oh, I saw you. Good. Put this back close to the fire. Put this close. Put it there. Thank you. Those should be dry. Let's put on our socks. An hour and 20 minutes. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to drink a tea. And we're going to sleep for one hour. And I'm going to get mauled by a bear. Okay, I got a little bit of, of uh, stuff back. Okay, we're putting the boots on. Just put them on. Okay, putting those on. And it's an Aurora. Right? Okay, everything's warm. Give me this. Give me that. Give me... Good. Got it. Okay. Alright. Put that away. Give me this. Give me this. And let's put all of our clothes back on. Okay. Okay, not terrible. We are going to drink. I drank the other birch bark. We're going to drink coffee. I'll drink all the coffee we have. Coffee. It's under food. Drink that too. Oh, I'm not thirsty. Of course, I'm not thirsty. Okay. Let's uh, take the long way. It's not an Aurora. I know I said it was, but it's not. Um, the music, it just kicks up at night sometimes. Makes me think it's an Aurora. Man, I got, I'm got i out of energy already. God dang it, dude. <laughs> Did nothing. All right, whatever. We're in a better spot than we were. We navigated. So let's uh, hightail it back over to freaking Spence's or try to get Spence's. I'm um, taking the long but safe way, the way I should have went the first time. Uh, we're going to be exhausted, so that's good. Um, as long as we don't run into any wildlife, we should be okay. I don't know. Oh, there's a cave. I would have never made it, though. Um, I think stopping right there obviously was the right move. We made it. No uh, problems. No concerns. Didn't freeze to death. Um... I think if I pushed it to this cave, we would have been at like 50% health. So, uh, I'll take it. You know, I think we recovered well. Um, the concern now is just making it over there without bumping into any Aurora wolves. Um, it's not an Aurora, but doesn't mean it won't, one won't show up. So, uh, I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed there. I'm going to walk along this edge here and um, and kind of see, get a better handle on our bearings and uh, and we'll take it from there. And I do want to know what is in, this looked like a cave, I want to know what's in there. Alright, so I tried to go around the ice and it's weak all along there. So. I do know that there is some way that I've made it through this way. 
what I think I have done in the past is actually gone this way and that way and kind of hip hopped along that route. Um, I just don't have the speed that I usually have. I might have even ran across here, but because I'm so heavy, I'm not able to make it at this time. Uh, but you just climb up this little hill right here. So that's what I did. And we're on our way. The um, These are the buildings I was talking about. The ones that are, are burned down and uh, dilapidated, I guess is the term. The um, And then just beyond that is Spence's. So good on that. Can't wait to get there. There's a couple saplings here. So maybe once we... Perhaps once we get uh, the hatchet going, we'll grab these saplings uh, if we're still smelting on stuff. Otherwise, we'll uh, maybe grab them on the way home. I saw two wolves over here. There's that one down there. There's another one over in these buildings. And uh, we're going to try to avoid them. I'm going to watch this torch, make sure it doesn't run out. And I would like to grab a couple more sticks. You're not going to see me, guy, are you? You don't see this bright fire light over here, right? Yes, you do. All right, he saw me. He's coming. I'm going to just keep walking. If I don't make eye contact with him, it's like he doesn't even know that I know he's there. And keep going. I'm going to need to reset this torch, though. And then I can't cross this bridge all the way, but um, you can cross, like, you can climb down it and it's safe to cross over there. So let's put this down and we'll, actually I want to get another one going just in case. Oh, I used the match. That worked. Okay, I need that torch back though. Alright, they're over there. Perfect. And keep on this way. There's sometimes, at least on Stalker, I found some stuff in these uh in these boxes, these crates. I don't know if there's anything in there on Interloper. We're not gonna find out tonight. But if you are playing Stalker, there if you are playing Stalker, there's sometimes uh some stuff in there like food, uh accelerant, stuff like that. Um, oh, don't walk off the bridge. I don't know why I'm at an angle. Uh, I'm still tired. Right beyond that fence is Spence's. So we're, uh, we're there just about. And then this is safe down here. We can cross here, cross down, and cross over. And we'll check this metal container while we're sitting here. Alright, we're good over here. Then we wrap, well, we wrap around this little bridge and uh, we can cross here without a problem. And then we're at Spence's. We are losing condition. I can't get any warmer. But we can't, what we can do is get to Spence's, get the fire started. And uh, warm up there. The question is whether or not we just stay up and um, smelt. Obviously, I wanted to sleep. I'm pretty sure I can sleep in Spence's without a fire and be fine. Hmm, I don't know. I gotta think about it. I need to eat a little bit. Just eat one of these for now. Just to get out of the red. Um, I want to manage all of my stats as best I can. Because I do not want to lose. I want to mitigate as much uh, condition loss as possible. Okay, we're good. Got a stick there. And here's the farm, so we're fine. And seeing if there's anything in the distance. 
We'll come out and grab sticks later. Once we drop off all of our stuff and get lighter, we should be okay. I'm going to reset this torch real quick. And I know, I think, I don't know if I commented on it, but I know I used a match earlier lighting that. Um, it was one of those situations where I just wanted the fire going. And that always sounds like a rabbit dying. Let's get in here and uh, have some condition loss. It's unfortunate, but it's what it is. We'll be fine. Is that combat boots, maybe? Um, I think we just go ahead and get a fire immediately started so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, 100%? Can we just start with coal? Oh, you can't start with coal? All right, that's fine. Yeah, let's just use the accelerant and be done with it. And yeah, okay, I get that. Let's add a piece of coal. Let's just add three. Get that warmed up. And let's drop all the coal off here. Drop it all. Perfect. We got two more pieces there. So we got about 15. We're warming up. Let's go ahead and cook some water. And that's good. And uh, what's this? Simple parka. Cool. And practical gunsmithing. We can put that here. And let's loot the rest of this place. We got survive the outdoors. Bring this up here. All right. We got the reclaimed wood. Some more socks. There's a note. It's fine. And we'll search the backpack. And wilderness kitchen. Cool. So, what we'll do from here, let's drop off these books. Yep, perfect. Put that up here. The gunsmithing book's down there. What I'd like to do is uh, maybe drop the scrap. I might have to sleep like an hour or two just to kind of keep things going. Like, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I might have to sleep like an hour or two just to make sure that we're, we're fine on our condition. Anything in these drawers? No. Okay, that's empty. Is this locked? Oh, I'm so glad I brought this pry bar. And it's empty anyways. And we got combat boots. I don't know if I'm going to take these. Put them up there. All right, this has got three hours on it. Ah, what do we do? Oh. All right, we can get rid of that. Question is, what do we do? I think we eat, we sleep, and we just try to get a couple hours. Yeah, maybe we do that. Let's eat this. I'm probably going to eat these lower condition. We have medicine, right? Antibiotics? Yeah. Just eat these lower condition stuff. I can make more porridge. If we need to. I drink the soda. All right, we're good. How we doing? We got three hours on this. Pass the time here. We'll take it. I think, oh, that's not potable. Let's just drop it. I don't want to deal with this tonight. Okay, so. I think what we're going to do is get some sleep. It's already pretty much morning or it's getting close to morning. If we sleep here, feels like a hundred, that's good. Just get two hours, I think. Just to stop our that's gonna stop our condition loss, right? Yeah. Okay. Now what do we do? So let's check the fire. We still got an hour. And 
forge temperature is required to be 270. All right. Well, we can do that. Can you? Yeah. Thank you. Does that do it? Do I need another one? I don't know if the reclaimed wood, wood helps. 170. We need another 100. Shouldn't it water cook faster then? Like if I were to put water on here, shouldn't it cook faster? 54. We need another piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll put that in there. Add fuel. Six hours now. We got plenty of time to... Uh... All right, what if I now sat here and crafted, right? Okay, what if I did four hours? Where's my hammer? <laughs> Fucking came all the way out here and the heavy hammers at the fucking camp office. Oh my god. Of all the things I make note of and write down, I didn't write that my heavy hammer is at the camp office. Well, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get some sleep and heal up basically do some recovery and we're gonna have to go to the freaking camp office and go get the freaking heavy hammer everything's here it's gonna be an easy trip there and back um i i just freaking loaded up all the coal into the goddamn smelting too <sighs> everything's here it's all here so we're gonna just essentially we're going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to rest up, and uh, next time we are going to go head back to the camp office. I may even head back there if nothing interesting happens, and it is a boring-ass walk. I may just go there myself and head back and get the heavy hammer. If anything interesting happens, I'll show it, but if not, I'm not going to subject you all through that. Um, unless you want to be, <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, yeah, I gotta basically start freaking over and, uh, go get that. I don't think there's any potential heavy hammer here. Um, I think there is on lower difficulties, but take that, I guess, uh, but not on this one. So, um, that sucks, man. I can't believe I did that was still a pretty eventful episode I think we'll go ahead and break into this while we're sitting here can I interesting little trick so the numbers 54 here um, you can go to pass zero and then go backwards and then go ahead and go to 54 and it'll count and then this one happens to be 44 and then I don't remember what the second number was but we'll open it 26. Usually I check all the numbers and then I just open it the last time. Ah, scarf and some jeans. Not too bad. Anything in here? I already cleared it out. <sighs> Anyways, I'm all over the place. We're going to call it. Um, like I said, next episode I am going to um, head up. I'm going to head back to uh, Mystery Lake. Grab our freaking heavy hammer. And then... Uh, make my way back here. I may or may not show it just depending on what happens uh, And then we will finally get the smelting done If you enjoyed the episode, please drop a like it helps me out very very much If you're interested in more long dark content, please consider subscribing and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye <laughs>